Succession is yet another massive hit from HBO that you either watched and loved the shit out of it, or you've never even heard of it. In which case, what are you even doing here? An absolutely brilliant tale of the tough and wicked life of America aristocrats amassed enough fan base to keep it successful for two straight seasons. And boy oh boy were those seasons absolutely stunning. I mean the acting, the writing, the visual storytelling, hell even music, everything here is barely short of perfection. Which is why no one was surprised when season 3 was announced. I mean, two years ago, and that may of course feel like a long time ago for your average TV, but considering the epic scale of succession and the recent pandemic, we are quite lucky to be getting it quite this soon. And how soon, you ask? Oh, and uh, you also want to know what it will be about? Oh, and who can we expect to see on the screen? Well, alright, hush hush, calm down, I have all the answers that you seek. Strap in, or on, depends on what you like, as we delve into everything to know about Succession Season 3. Alright, first things first, what is Season 3 about? Well, as you know, second season of the show ended on a massive cliffhanger where the older asshole child, Kendall Roy, decided to turn in his father, who by no means is less of an asshole. The show ended with a cheeky smile from Roy Sr. leaving us longing for so much fucking more. Therefore, it's safe to say that the next season will probably pick up right at this point. But what has been officially confirmed about the plot? Well, nothing has been set in stone as of yet, but Brian Cox, who of course plays Logan Roy, revealed that the new scripts are packed with even more twists and turns. I nearly fell off my chair, because he, Armstrong, who created the show, never tells you about the next series. We never knew from episode to episode what was going to happen, but then he told me, and it's jolly thrilling. That's all I can say. Cox told Deadline that with Shiv and Kendall being the focus of the series, one and two, the youngest siblings could be the main feature of the next adventures. I'm fascinated to see how young Roman comes into play. He showed his mettle at the end of season two, and I think he is the hidden gun under the table. In fact, this gets me insanely excited as I think Roman is arguably the most interesting character in the show, especially with his sexual attraction to gilfs. Social media has been alight with sightings of the cast and crew both in the US and further afield over the past few months. In New York, Jeremy, in New York, Jeremy Strong has been spotted in signature baseball cap once outside the Mandarin Oriental Hotel and again by a French Bulldog fan account, no less, walking into 28 Liberty Street, the location of the office in the show. In other iconic New York locations, Roman and Chef were snapped shooting inside the Plaza Hotel and several people spotted that shooting was taking place at the expensive and soulless Hudson Yards, which sounds just right for the Roys. Outside the city, it was also discovered that the show was shooting in East Hampton after an announcement from a local paper about filming, which included scenes at Montag's Shadmo State Park as well as a mansion which is currently listed for 50 million dollars. There's also been filming in Virginia with crew member Casey Campbell joking, this ain't Croatia on an Instagram story, which might mean they've headed to the southeast state for some beach scenes. All in all, it seems that indeed season 3 might give the stage to the younger members of the Roy clan, namely Roman Roy and Greg Hirsch, both excellent characters. The season will take us again on tour around the world, showing into our faces how the richest 1% of our planet bathes in luxury until they have to physically throw up. Ugh, sometimes I really do hate this show. Alright, alright, but what about the cast? Can we expect everyone to return? Thankfully, we got most of the key players returning, and three of the minor characters have just been confirmed as series regulars. Willa Ferreira, played by Justin Loop, Shady Chief Financial Officer Carl Muller, David Rush, and Waystar Royko Senior Comms Executive Fisher Stevens, Hugo Baker. There's also the news that the cast will be adding new faces in Season 3, with HBO announcing that Sana Lathan will play Lisa Arthur, a high-profile New York lawyer. Meanwhile, K-pop star Jihai Kim has also been added to the mix, here playing PR guru Barry Schneider, and Linda Edmond will play senior White House AD... AD? AD? ID? What the fuck? Michelle Ann van der Hoven. These three new figures offer some clues about the direction the next installment could take us, as it seems possible the PR figure may be brought on by Waystar in order to deal with the fallout of Kendall's mic drop moment at the end of Season 2. That might also explain the introduction of a lawyer with connections that can help get the family or newly isolated Kendall's perhaps out of tight spot. Who knows? What we're more curious about, of course, is how the White House could become embroiled in the Roy family drama. Could we see a cameo of Francis Underwood? Oh boy, I would give my left nut to see him go against Logan. 
In February, HBO also announced that Your Honor's Hope Davis would appear for a multi-episode arc as Sandy Furness, daughter of the Roy Media's arc rival Sandy Furness. Quite how she slots in will be interesting to discover. In succession, everyone is an antagonist. Will she side with Daddy and the hostile takeover attempt? I sure hope so. At the beginning of May, it was also reported by Variety that Alexander Skarsgård, star of Legend of Darzan, True Blood and Big Little Lies, had been added to the cast. The Emmy Award-winning Swedish actor will be playing a character called Lukas Madsen, a successful confrontational tech founder and CEO. This was followed by another high-profile casting in the news that Adrian Brody was also joining the show. The Peaky Blinders actor will play Josh Aronson, a billionaire activist investor who becomes pivotal in the battle of the ownership of Waystar. I mean, Jesus, look at this cast! Season 3 is eyeing up not only to be the best story-wise, but also acting-wise. I'm not sure I'm ready for this, Jesus. Alright, alright, you got us excited, but when is it coming then? Well, actually, it was supposed to hit our tiny screens in a couple of months already, but based on the latest update from the showrunner, it seems that Q4 is more of a sweet spot when we would be able to feast our eyes on this wild billionaire's tale continuation. Which is not long, come on, as long as it's good, I'm willing to wait. Oh, and there is actually a trailer that has dropped, but it doesn't really reveal all that much about the story, apart from pretty much solidifying everything I have mentioned above. Kendall is going in a full-out war, something we're also coming from the very first moment of the show. Let's just hope that the end of the season will not leave us all with blue balls. And that will do for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I really do appreciate all three of you being here. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe, as I will be doing much more of the content like this in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.